ask any woman her weight, and she knows the answer. She might not tell you, but she knows. And it turns out there's another number that has a big impact on our health, yet most of us have no idea where we stand. We're talking about cholesterol, and as part of our My Life Mondays, we invited Dr. Frank LaDuca of Polymer Technology Systems to join us this morning. He's gonna show us how it's easier than ever to know your numbers. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Christy. It's a pleasure to be here. I have to be honest. I haven't checked my cholesterol in a pretty long time. Well, uh, Christy, that's not a good thing to do. Today, I brought a cardio check cholesterol test that one can test at home with. At home? At home. And we are going to um, actually run a test on your blood today using a finger stick. So you're just going to draw blood we're from gonna my finger draw, today? We're going to use this little lancet and draw blood from your finger after we clean it and apply it to the strip right here and get ourselves a cholesterol number. And it takes how long? Two minutes. Really? So we're going to start by getting our strip inserted so the device will turn itself on. And then we're going to prepare your finger for a small finger stick. And this is something I can do? This is something you can do to yourself. This is something you can do for your husband or your children. I'm going to ask you to hold your finger like this. The first thing you do is make sure you clean it very well with the alcohol. Okay. So let's we'll take that and clean your finger off and Easy drop it aside and then air dry it a little bit so it doesn't sting because the alcohol is what makes it sting as a matter of fact, not the actual prick. Now this is um, going to have a little blade that comes out of here. And um, by just picking this little corner of your finger, ooh, okay. you jumped a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it was that anxiety of no, waiting. No, we, wa we wipe away this first little drop. This okay. reminds me of my children when I take them to the pediatrician. They jump away too, don't they? Uh -huh. See, we get a little bead of blood, and then it fills up very simply into this little tip here. Oh. And we get a little bit extra bead of blood. And maybe one more little bead of blood, and it's good. And it looks like a lot, but it's not much at all. It's a very, very small amount of blood. Now, if you would just hold your um, gauze on your finger while I put this on the device. And I'll set the time for you. And you said about what, two this to three minutes? Two, just down for two minutes. OK. Two minutes should be sufficient. And we'll let that run. So while we're waiting for my results, and actually, this is really amazing how you can do this at home, let's first talk about cholesterol and how important it is to check it. Cholesterol is, is really a, a silent killer because heart disease is the number one cause of death for both men and women in this country. Sure. And cholesterol is the reason why we have heart disease. It and clogs your arteries. And a lot of people think or assume that there may be some symptoms that will tell them that they have a high number, a dangerous number, and that's not the case. No, unfortunately, um, you really don't know how high your cholesterol is because you feel lethargic or sleepy, nothing like that. When you have a heart attack, you know you have too much cholesterol. And sometimes it's too late. And then it's too late, definitely too late. So you want to be able to manage your diet, manage your exercise program, and test your cholesterol on a regular basis. Because even sometimes with a great diet and a great program, you might have a genetic tendency of having a high number. So you, you should check that's, it no matter what. That's true. And you need to work with your doctor to improve your cholesterol level, to get it to a good level. It's help, helpful and to uh, not only measure it, but also to manage it. And this is good for your heart, and it's good for your brain, because Alzheimer's disease also has been associated with high cholesterol. Really? Mm -hmm. And this is something that would be so beneficial for not only myself, but my husband, who is another one that doesn't like to go to the doctor and get you know, tested for this. So it could be actually something that could we, do, we could do as a family at home. Yeah, it's especially important for the parents, obviously, because the, the older you are, the more likely you are to have heart disease. Right. And the, um, the fact of the matter is that you work with your doctor to create a program that actually improves your state of health and makes you heart healthy. Now something I'm thinking of right now as I'm waiting for the result, which is only about a minute away, accuracy. I'm thinking going less than a minute away, going to the doctor, drawing my blood, I would think would be more accurate than this. Not so? Uh, actually, these tests are highly accurate. And the, um, the, they need to be proven to be accurate before the FDA allows them to be sold over the counter in, drug, in a drugstore. So this cholesterol test, just like a glucose test, has to be um, released for sale based upon accuracy. The number we're looking for is a number around 200. Anything less than 200 is a good number. Okay. Anything greater than 200 uh, puts you on a borderline until finally you get to about 240, and then you really have a, a high likelihood of having occlusive events in your arteries, which is not good. That leads to a heart attack. All right, so speaking of numbers, okay, go ahead, tell me mine. Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, your number actually is, is very good. It's a 174. Oh, that's good. That's a very good number. That's you not bad at all. You have obviously must have treated yourself pretty well recently. <laughs> Taking care of myself. That's right. 
This has been really good. And also, if we could just refresh memories here about the good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. This is the combination of both the HDL and LDL? This particular test is a total cholesterol, so it assumes the combination of all those that you just mentioned. The so-called good cholesterol is high density, or HDL. You referred to it earlier as happy cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And then low density is, is a less concentrated lipid, it tends to clog the arteries very quickly, and you add that, those two together plus triglycerides and you have a total cholesterol. Thank you so much, doctor. I would shake your hand, but uh. I have a hold of this. <laughs> Great information, and I really like how easy it is. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate and if you'd like more tips on monitoring your cholesterol, log on to cardiocheck.com. By the way, that's cardiocheck, C-H-E-K.com. Really great and pretty accurate.